Hi guys, hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome to round four of the YouTube Cup. Hello everyone in the chat, how are you? How are you all? Lovely to see you all back again. Back again like the Reagan Egg Master. What a tune that was. Anyway, going way, way back, way before you lot were born. Anyway, today, of course, we are at Watkins Glen, our first road course of the season. Now, a few of you will know that we've done road courses before, and they're not so good on uh, NR, but we're going to give it another go. Why not? Why not? We have put everyone who is at the front, at the back, and everyone at the back up at the front. So we should have a nice little bit of competition, don't you think? Which will be uh, pretty. Oh, sorry guys, I think I just turned the mic off by accident. I do apologise. That's better. Let's do that. Let's move that up like that. Oh, that's much better. Oh, now we're talking. Yes. Right. Anyway, so the guy is on pole. Okay, Miguel is second, Colin Cropley third, Jay Thomas fourth, and Jensen Freddie in fifth spot. And obviously, down at the bottom is uh, first, second, and third from yesterday's race. Drift game up, myself, Juan, uh, and obviously it goes uh, back up to the front, which is pretty good. So... Who is going to win today, guys? Who's your money on? Don't forget, it is a road course. Most road course races are depending on pit stops. So it could all come down to a pit stop that could change the whole race. Anyway, guys, I'm going to stop talking and boring you. Let's get on with this race. Drivers! Start your engines! So, we have the official engine start or orders. And we are off. We are off. We've got cars starting on the uh, pit lane. And we've also got cars starting out on the track. And they're all hitting the pit lane as they come out. Yes, I like this Watkins Glen. This is the newest one that I could find. So it does have um, the chicane down the back straight. Which is nice, really, because it slows them down, makes it a bit more harder. There's myself and Drift Gamer at the back. Will we make our way to the front? Will Amy make our way to the front? That is the question. Myself, top of the table in the championship standings. Only because I've had three top fives. Will I get a top five today? I don't know. I've got to work my bum off to get to the front of this grid. But again, I do believe it may come down to pit stops this race. Don't get much overtaking on road courses. So we will have to wait and see. Do you know, guys, when you say you're expecting lots of crashes, just so am I, actually. <laughs> I think it's going to be one of them races. Let's hope not, but, yeah. Especially when they're coming in and out of pits, I think that's where the uh, the carnage is going to happen. So a long, long uh, pace lap around Watkins Glen. And this is probably, uh, this bit in the straight, is probably the, the front straight is probably the fastest part of the track. But uh, let's hope they all behave. Don't get too close. And let's hope we have a nice little race on our hands. Let's hope we don't get a, a caution after t two or three laps like yesterday. It was a good race yesterday, though, I must admit. I, I, I quite liked it. don't know if everyone else agree, but I quite liked it. Um, we had a few cautions at the beginning, which was worrying. But luckily, they all started to uh, behave themselves. Uh, and we ended... Uh, we ended the race on a caution, didn't we? I think yesterday. Was it yesterday? I can't remember. So here we go. A pace car is about to go in. And we are about to get this race underway. Timmy the Flagman will get his flag out. 
going to be going into the racing line. And we are off. There's Timmy. Close up of Timmy. Wow, that was scary. 76 takes us off into lap one at Watkins Glen. 32 laps for you guys. I think this is where we're going to see a lot of crashes down this chicane down here. But the 76 uh, and Miguel and Jensen all doing extremely well at the front here. This is the guy leading us around, keeping hold of this pole position as they come down. Look at that at the back. Wow, they are flying down. They all want to get to the back. Look at Miguel. Miguel going on the inside of the 76. Oh, it's getting rather close. But the 76 is going to have the inside lane this time. Oh, and it's going to be a drag down to the front. Down this front straight. Who's got the fastest car? Look at this. The 76 is going to have the inside lap two. And we're already having some great racing at the front. Oh, and they come together nearly. Jensen Freddy looking on, looking for space up at the front. But the 76, the guy, gets that position. And Jensen hits the one, two, three on the back. Jensen Freddy needs to finish one race at least. He's uh, not done, he's not had a good start to the season. Unfortunately, the guy now leading into lap two. Well, still leading, I should say. As they come down to that chicane, Miguel is all over the back of that car again, though. Looks like the one, two, three has a faster car. Look at this, the 76 has got to keep an eye on that rear view mirror. Because Miguel, look at Jensen Freddy. Jensen Freddy comes in on the inside of Miguel. Oh, and they nearly touch at the back. That was close. The guy defending that position. Now we're going to go back down that front straight. Are we going to see a move from Miguel again? Yes, we are. Jensen Freddy's going to make a move as well. Miguel gets the inside track. Can he take over the one? Oh, that was close. And I think... Miguel's done it. Miguel goes into the lead on lap three. What a move. Jensen Freddy coming up to the guy, but the guy gets the better of him. What a move from the 1-2-3. The 1-2-3 heads off into the distance. Jensen Freddy about to get, I think, second place. Yes, he has. Colin Cropley as well coming up onto the 76 wide. Whoa. That was pretty close from uh, both cars behind there. Look at this. Going to the back of the grid. I am at the back of the grid still uh, with uh, Juan uh, and Drift Gaming. Now, we're going to struggle to get to uh, the front of this grid, I believe, as they all come down to this inside turn. There's Sienna Grace at the lower part of your screen. Kimberly Lopez there. There's Amy Lloyd. Now, she's moved up. Pretty good driving from Amy Lloyd. Now, she is making moves to the front of this grid. Can she do it? Can she get to the front of the grid? Uh, there is Scott Ultra. Uh, won the first race of the season in 28th. Oh, Amy Lloyd nearly hits the 63. There's Kimberly Lopez, 27th. There you've got uh, Reigns, Percy. Sienna Grace has moved up to 24th. I can't remember what position she was in, actually. Uh, there's Kylo Ren in 21st. 20, uh, that'd be 21st for Brian Pierce now. There's... Uh, Croker, Charlie Croker, there's uh, Smith, uh, then we've got Romeo Dunn, then we've got Justin in 18th position, oh, and did you see Sonic for Life cut that corner, that will incur a penalty I believe, and don't cut corners on Watkins Glen, Joey B in 12th, Mike Jones 11th, so they're all starting to calm down now, we've got a race on our hands between Harry Edwards and the 82, of HCG. Look at this. They're coming down the front straight. Who's got the better of the car? It's Harry Edwards. Harry Edwards has got the better of that 82. He is making strides to get to the front of this race. Just in front of him next is Brennan. Uh, and then we've got Bolo de Frail in fifth spot. Uh, Colin Crabby. Look at that. Look at the front. Jensen Freddy takes the lead on lap five. What a move from Jensen Freddy. Jensen Freddy goes into the lead. Great driving from the 95.
Wow, great racing going on at the front here. I think Miguel's going to come back at the 95, you know. The guy, still in third. He's, you've got to give him his due. He started on pole, but he has lost two places so far. We're only on lap five. Not sure when pits are going to be either. Uh, and yes, there will be a season six, of course. But I've got something special coming up after this, after the YouTube um, Cup season finishes. I'm going to do something a bit different, maybe. Uh, but more to follow over the next uh, week or so. Jensen Freddy leads lap six. Miguel is coming back at him as they come into turn one. Oh, Jensen Freddy goes a little bit wide. Miguel takes it a little bit tighter as uh, they come down the snake part of the track with a worm, whatever you want to call it. Harry Edwards into sixth spot, chasing down uh, Bolo de Frail. Bolo de Frail. All over that Colin Cropley in the 86. Look at this. Oh, one. Oh, look at Bolo de Frail going nice and easy around there into fourth spot. Now we've got Harry Edwards chasing down that number 86. Wow, would you look at that. Harry Edwards uh, nearly took the 86, but Bolo de Frau has now lost position to that 86. And now Harry Edwards takes the position off Bola. What a move. What a move from uh, Harry Edwards there. He now goes uh, into fourth place, is that? Fifth place. Great, great driving. Going back to the front. These two find out Jensen Freddy uh, and... Uh, that is the, uh, uh, sorry, the one, two, three of uh, Miguel, sorry, getting confused. So uh, they will start lap eight, or are they going to pit? Nope, they continue on. Going to the back of the grid, the 73 and the 84, getting, getting a bit of drama at the back here. Drift game has moved up. I've moved up. I'm off the back of that grid, which is good. More points. Scott Ultra has fallen back. Juan's moved up into 29th. Ryan Durrani. Amy Lloyd's still struggling to get to the front of this grid. Again, I think it's going to be Pitts. Oh, look at the 51. As they come down at the snake there. Lovely driving. There is uh, Kylo Ren. Sienna Grace in 22nd. Trying to move on up. Eric, Romeo Dunn, then we've got Brian Pierce in 18th. He's doing well. He's moving up position slowly. Uh, Justin Hogfout in 14th. Another one doing well. So cars are moving. They are moving forward just slowly. There is Sonic for Life in 10th spot in the top 10. All on his lonesome. Uh, there's HCG. So going back to the front, uh, Bolo de Frail is all over that 86. Now we're going to watch these three here because Bolo de Frail... Um, H, uh, sorry, Colin, Colin Cropley and Harry having a lovely little race here. Uh, looks like the 86 is actually catching the 68. Not sure how long that is going to last though. Looks like Miguel's catching Jensen Freddy. Uh, looks like Bolo de Frail is losing. Going to lose that spot to, uh, I think that is Ryan Brennan. Yeah. So the 34 is about to uh, move Bola out of position. No, nope, maybe not. No, nope, he backs off. Backs off at the last minute. Uh, going back to the front. Jensen Freddy still leading lap nine. This would be uh, a real good win for him if he can keep this position. Yeah, I've seen the car sets. Lovely car sets by Miguel. Really, really good. Really good. So here we are going into lap 10. Jetson Freddy still leading us around. 
at Watkins Glen. Great driving. Oh, and he goes a little bit wide. Miguel goes in a little tight again. They seem to have their own racing line they're quite happy with. But these two are really stretching this race now. Look at the gap between them and the guy. Look, 2.14 seconds. These two are smashing it. What's going on at the back then? So not much going on at the back. Percy's at the back. Edward, Daniel Bouchard, uh, Scott Ultra. Uh, losing places big time. Drift Gamer still at the back. Myself in 30 seconds. So I'm not moving. But look at this. Juan uh, is on the move with uh, Ryan Durrani next door to each other. Looks like Juan's going to get the better of him. Maybe not. Yes, maybe not. Oh, so tight. Oh, lovely driving from Juan. But look, he's now got the outside of this track. Amy Lloyd, uh, another one. Look at this, coming on the inside of the 51. Gains another position. Amy Lloyd on the move up the track. The more spaces they get before pits. Looks like we're going to have pits. Sienna Grace goes in to the pits. So does the Drift Gamer. So who else has gone in? Bowler's gone in. But none of the leaders have gone in. Look at this. We're getting some lovely racing here going on. Here for the top 10 positions. Colin Cropley in fifth. So the leaders have all stayed out. Look at this. The guy. And Harry. Look at that. What a move from Harry. Down the back straight there into the chicane. Moves in at two thirds. Spot takes over the guy. What a move from Harry. Are these two going to pit now? This will change things if they go into the pit. Now Harry has got to chase these two down up at the front. That's going to be a big ass 2.65 uh, between them and the 76. But the 68 has got a bigger gap. Looks like they're going to pit. They're in, the, in on the yellow line. Yes, they are. So is Harry. So is the guy. So is Colin. All top guys going in to pit lane. And this is the pit uh, camera. We can see Jensen Freddy coming in to the pit lane. The guy's uh, going to be the, the last one at the end of pit lane. So here we go. Oh, and the guy hits Miguel. That was a very nice bit of rivalry there. No cars have flown past, so everyone else must be going in the pits as well. We'll be looking out for the... Uh, the back markers. Jensen Freddy's out. Jensen Freddy is out already. So is Miguel. So is Harry. Great driving from the 95. He leads. He goes back out before anyone could get back round. Great driving. There he goes. He is off. As uh, cars that have already pitted come around. Pitted cars coming out. There could be a little bit of carnage. Nope. Drift Gamer out. So now, basically, we've got to see where everyone ends up on the track. There's Bolo de Frail. He pitted. Obviously, he came back round, so uh, he's probably going to fourth position. Uh, Harry will probably be in third. Miguel, uh, second still. And Jensen Freddy will go first position. Let's take a look. At the standings, uh, and let's see what happens as it updates itself. I think Jensen Freddy have to go around a couple of times before it updates. Not too sure. But look at this, Jensen Freddy having a whale of a time out of the front. Maybe he'll get his first win of the season. Let's not talk too soon, though. Jensen Freddy leading us here at Watkins Glen. But some of these drivers have had great, great races to get to uh, where they are on the track. Going to uh, the bottom, not much has changed really. Uh, I've moved up to 29th, which is pretty good. Amy Lloyd's in 22nd. Brian Pierce lost a lot of, lot of uh, places, unfortunately. Um, are we under caution? No, we're not. No, I thought we were under caution then. Jensen Freddy all out on his lonesome at the front. Let's see what time he gets. Cars have all spread out now because of the pits. Lap 13 of round four. What a waste to try and uh, take overtake Liam in the championship. I know. 
you're doing pretty well. Let's see what your time you get as you come over, because I want to see if you're going to catch the one, two, three. Oh, only a little bit. You only took a little bit of that time off. Not much. So, Metabank is at the back. Uh, Edward, Charlie Croak is at the back. Ryan Durrani's lost a lot of places. Uh, Reigns is at the back. Uh, then we've got Romeo Dars, Scott Ultra, myself, down in 28th. Don't think I'm going to get another top five today. Struggling on a road course. Not my uh, best place to be. Joey B in 27th. Kylo Ren, 26th. Uh, Caden Kirk, 25th. Abadala in 25th. Fourth, Brian Pierce will be 23rd. Juan is up to 22nd. He's been around that position most of the race, I think, if I remember rightly. Moa in 20th. Uh, Amy Lloyd's in 21st. So she's going to try and fight her way back. She's got a lot of cars to overtake, though. I think she'll be happy with a top 10. Uh, that will do uh, very well in the championship uh, table. Look at this. She goes for the 33, another car. She's going to try and overtake on the inside. There's Kimberly. Uh, Lopez just in front. That'll be her next car if she does it now. But she's going to have the outside of the track. But nope. She overtakes the 33 car. Uh, oh no. Oh and they crawl. Oh, no. We got a caution. We got a caution. We are under caution. We saw it live here guys. We saw it live. And I think she's out of the race. The car's not moving. The car is not moving. She is in pit lane. Wow. We are 100% under caution I'm sure. What happened there then? Let's take a look. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Oh, the 33 takes her out. Oh, and then the 117 and takes one out as well. <sighs> Ow. That was not good. Are we under caution? Yes, we are. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. So we are under caution, guys. As Jensen Freddy flies down the front straight. And Amy Lloyd is out. Amy Lloyd out of the race. We are under caution. We are under caution, guys. So the question is, will they all pit again? That is the question. Will they all come back in? This is now going to tighten things up a bit because now we're going to have a, a sprint, a restart, which will be good. We like it when this happens because we'll get some more racing. Drift game has done pretty well to get up there. Blimey. Poor old Amy Lloyd, spun out by the 33. She was making a Real go of it of moving through the grid, but uh, hi SJ, how you doing? Are you well? But uh, yeah, absolutely crazy. What a race! Jensen Freddy leading at the moment, he's led for most of the race, he's having the best race of his career so far. Hello, dude, how are you? Hello, 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 hello. So, uh, as you can see, SJ is uh, my son and daughter. They've just joined the stream. Uh, I just text my daughter to let her know that Jensen is leading this race. Lap 17 on a caution. Um, wow. Amy Lloyd crashed out, unfortunately. But uh, at least she'll start first tomorrow night. That's a good thing. Uh, and yes, you are in the lead, my boy. You are in the lead. Uh, and you deserve it. You started fifth on the grid. Uh, and now you are leading. You've done really well. Great driving. Let's hope you finish this race. The last three races have not been good for Jensen Freddy. So let's hope he finishes this one. He is good at road courses. So uh, this could be his race. But we are under caution here at Watkins Glen.
no one has actually pitted oh we're off caution now lights are out we will restart we will restart Jensen saying hello to everyone hello 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 so we've got uh, we've got the driver who's leading this race actually live in the chat guys what more could you want you've got the driver who's leading at Watkins Glen in the chat how amazing is that he can race and he can chat at the same time now that is what you call multitasking legendary multitasking so the uh, pace car is taking us around we're gonna restart on lap 18 Jensen and Freddie is going to restart us off. We're going to have a sprint. He seems to have the fastest car on the track at the moment. He hasn't got the fastest lap though. It's actually Harry who's got the fastest lap. 105.791. Jensen Freddy's got the third fastest lap. So, are we going to see a Harry sprint? Don't try even risky. That's true. That's true. That is true. So, we are about to restart, okay. Let's go to this camera. Is Harry going to sprint past Miguel, who's in second? Is Miguel going to sprint past Jensen? This is the restart. Lap 18 is about to begin. Timmy the Flagman only has one job. Can he do it? Can he do it? Yes, he can. He gets that flag out. We're restarting. Looks like Miguel's pushing the 95. Wow. Wow. That was pretty epic. Look at the guy coming on the inside. Sienna Grace is up into seventh spot. Sienna Grace into seventh spot. She's moved up incredibly well. But Jensen Freddy holding on to that first spot. He's not going to give it up. Harry is trying to keep up, but he can't. Is Miguel got the fastest car? He seems to be using that slipstream on the 95. They come down the back straight to, towards the chicane. Oh, it looks like Harry's going to make a move. No, he's not. He goes back in. He was going to make a move on the 1, 2, 3, but he decided not to. He decided not to. He backed off at the last minute. Great idea, that. Back off. Wait till you get down that front straight, Harry. I think you've got the minerals to overtake that 1, 2, 3. My only concern is Jensen Freddy doesn't seem to have the speed at the moment. As they come down, Kimberly in the background overtaking someone there, but I want to keep an eye on the front of this race. Because I want to see if Jensen Freddy can hold on to this first spot as they come down to start lap 19 of this 32 lap race. Miguel still on the back doors of that number 95. He's getting rather close. He's getting rather close. This is a bit worrying. Can the 95 hold on to this lead? He had such a big lead when he came out of the pits. Then we had the crash. It's bunched them all back again, up again. Sienna Grace loses uh, position uh, into uh, eighth position. Uh, there she is, uh, just with uh, Bola. Uh, but I think she's got it back. I think she's got that position back. Bola's all over uh, the back of that car. Colin Cropley just in front of her. There's Sonic for Life. And the guy, and this is Harry, Miguel, and Jensen Freddy up at the front of this grid now. Going into lap uh, 20, that will give us 12 to go. I didn't know that was his full name. I did not know that. No. SJ, have you seen the grit, the gold Rusty's McQueen? I saw that the other day, the gold Rusty's McQueen. That looks pretty cool. <gasps> Miguel's coming in on the inside of Jensen Freddy, but no, he doesn't. He checks up. Harry checked up as well. There's going to be another round of pits. They didn't pit on that yellow. There's going to be another round of pits. Jensen had the quickest pit last time. And he got out into first spot. Can he do that again? He looks like he's breaking away from the 1-2-3. The 1-2-3 had to check up then on that turn. But look at this. Harry goes up on the inside of... Oh, and I thought he was going to touch the 1-2-3 then. I thought it was curtains. I thought it was good night then. But it wasn't. I thought we were going to have a, a, a replay of the Amy Lloyd crash. The Amy Lloyd... Uh, got spun out by the 33. She overtook him uh, um, on the last turn and down the straight, the front straight. Harry's going for it again. He is going for it again. Let's have a look at this. He goes up on the inside of Miguel and he gets the better of him, I think. Is he going to get the better of him? 
as Miguel comes up on the inside of the last turn. Look at this, they're going to go neck and neck down that front straight. Who's got the minerals? Who's got the faster car? Miguel has got the better part of the track, the inside. Jensen Freddy looking on into his mirror, hoping that these two can fight it out and keep themselves away from him. Oh, and Harry has to check up there. Wow, that was pretty epic. Oh, he'd have to tell uh, Jensen that. He'd have to save his... Uh, he'd have to save his... Um, car packages. And uh, get the gold one. Get the gold McQueen. I'm sure that he'll be able to set, buy it, though. So, at the moment, lap 21. And it's Jensen Freddy who is leading us around this track at the moment. Miguel is not giving up, though. He is not giving up. He is slower in the pits, though. So, when we have a pit stop, maybe that's when things will uh, change. Uh, Sienna Grace going in the pit. Sienna Grace going into pit on lap 21. Are we having another round of pits? Jensen Freddy flies off from the 1-2-3. The 1-2-3 checks up again on turn 1. Not too sure he's confident on that turn. Maybe a, a little bit slippy as they come to the snake part of the track. The worm, as I like to call it. Harry's backed off. The guy and Harry together. Sonic for Life just behind uh, the guy. Now, Sienna Grace went into the pits. Now, is she on a tactical uh, pit stop? Or is everyone joining? Uh, I don't know what uh, Jensen's put into the chat. That's a bit weird. It's code word. That's, do you know why he's done that? Because he's, he's driving at the same time, so he can't text at the same time. He shouldn't have his mobile phone while he's driving. Do you know what I mean? So... Jensen Freddy now will he go in the pits will all the leaders follow him though that's the question they all followed him last time will they follow him this time or will they tactically stay out but no it looks like he's staying out it looks like he's going for another lap yes there was Sienna Grace going in the pits no Bowler's going in as well Bowler is going in to pit lane so there is Percy there's Sienna Grace. Now, she's down in 33rd now because of that pit stop. Uh, then we've got Jay Thomas, Edwards. So, we got we are having pits. Let's go back to the leadership. And the leadership is still the same. It's Jensen Freddy. And he's making a big gap. He's making a big gap in that race for first spot. Sonic for Life, you're in uh, fifth place. Harry has backed off from the 1-2-3. Doesn't think, doesn't look like he's going to have another go, another shot. Now, I believe these guys are going to pit now. I really do believe. Here we go, they come around to that last turn. And yes, they're in the yellow line. They are going into pit lane. All the leaders, all the leadership go in. Everyone goes in to the pits. Now, this is exciting. Who is going to get out first? Because I think, I really do believe whoever gets out first now could go on to get a massive gap in this race. So, here we go. So, Jensen goes in first. Miguel goes in second. And then the guy comes in, Colin Cropley comes in. Jensen's had tyres done on his left side. Now his right side's up. He'll be getting fuel as well. Who's going to get out? Jensen gets out first. What a pit stop from the 95. Look at him go. Then it's Miguel. Then it's Harry. As you can see there, um, Miguel uh, cut up Harry. And there's Sienna Grace. Look at that. What a move from the 43. Will she go into second spot? Wow, that early pit stop may have put her into second position. That's just crazy. The 43 is now hunting down her brother, who's in the 95. Great driving from the 95 in that pit stop. Now, Sienna Grace, well, if she tactically went into the pits for a reason, 
it worked. It worked pretty well. Wow. This is incredible. All you need now is me to get to the front and we'll have a family top three. Never happened. Never happened. Look at Sienna Gray. She's coming up to the 95. Look at this. We've got a race on our hands now. Look at this. Sienna Grace goes on the inside of the 95. They're battling it out side by side. And she takes the lead. The 43 takes the lead. What a pit stop. What a move. What a race from the Dynaco car. Now we really do have a race on our hands. This is getting incredibly tight. Jensen Freddy is now going to have to hunt down that 43. This is the first time he's lost uh, the first place spot. He gained it from fifth, but now he's lost it. He's now got to get back. And we got a yellow. We are under caution. This will help Jensen Freddy out. We are under caution. Not sure what happened. Um, let's take a look. Uh, when did the pit car? Uh, when did the pace car come out? Uh, that's what we want to look for. Uh, Mr. Pace car, when did you come out of the grid? Uh, I can't see you flashing. So when did you start flashing? There he goes. So what happened? What happened? Something must have happened for him to start flashing. Oh, I see smoke. Ah, same place, look. What happened here? So it was Scott Ultra and G. Edward, Gordon Edward. Come round. Same place as Amy went. Oh, did anyone else hit them? Oh, look at the four. Whoa. Jeez, he was so close he could smell his aftershave. That wasn't even a real bad crash though, was it? Look, it was like a slow motion. Look, it's like a... I'm just going to nudge you out the way. Oh, unlucky. You got in my way and, you know, we now look like we're ice skating. Game over. Game over for that. Unlucky. Now. Now. Things have got interesting. Things have got very interesting. Guys. Okay. Because now we are going to have another restart. Okay, probably lap 28, I'm going to say, all right? 20, yeah, probably lap 28, all right? We've got some of the fastest cars at the front of this grid now. But what I want to show you, one thing, is Sienna Grace was started, uh, I think she started like 20th. She's now at the front. Jensen Freddy started 5th. He's now 2nd. Kimberly Lopez started like way at the back. Drift Gamer started way at the back. They're now in 5th and 6th. What a drive from them. Absolutely amazing. I want to see what happens between the 43 and the 95 now. Because they are two of the fastest cars on this grid today. This is only going to get interesting. I've moved up to 15th. I was like second from last. Drift Gamer was last. He's now in 6th. You know, you, that's just amazing. So I think the lights will go out on this lap. And I think we will get this race back underway. Um, hopefully on lap 28. And uh, we will then count down the laps. Because uh, there will only be four left after that, won't there? There will only be four laps left after that. So it's literally going to be a sprint to the uh, checkered flag. Is it? Oh, I don't know. I can't, I'm not even going to put... I can't even tell you who's going to win this. This is just going to be so close. So yeah, I thought so. The lights are out. Caution lights are out. We are going to be back in the race on lap 28. And it will be Sienna Grace who leads us off this time. Can she win her first race of the season? She come so close the other night. Uh, coming second. So close. She led for so long. Could this be her night? Could it be Jensen Freddie? Could it be Miguel? Could it be Harry? He sat there. Could it be Drift Gamer again? Could he win a race again? Look, he's in sixth. He's come from last. You cannot write that one-two-one off. It could be anyone winning this race tonight. 
I, I, I can't even put money on it. I'm not even going to put the odds on this one. There's so many good drivers at the front. Sienna Grace is second in the standings as well. So this will propel her to top of the championship, I'm sure. So what a race from uh, the 43. You, you know, that absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, and the 84 and the 52 and the 56 all out of the race now, uh, officially. So we are with 33 cars. Uh, and it looks like uh, the guy's out. He's smoking. It looks like the guy has gone. Will they bring the caution out again for that? If they do, we may have an end of a race. Because he's going to cut across. No, they're all waiting for him to get out of the way. There you go. Lovely. So here we go. Pace car in. Teaming the flag, man. Do your thing. Do it. Get that green flag out. Let's get this race on. Lap 28. Sienna Grace gets us started. Timmy the Flagman does the only job he needs to do and he gets it right. Look at this. Look at Harry coming up on the inside of the 1-2-3. Oh, he's getting pretty close. Jensen Freddy nearly tapping the 43 out the way. But he comes on the inside of Sienna Grace. What a move from the 95. Look at Harry all over the 95. Look at this. You're seeing it live, guys. Jensen Freddy goes back into the lead. Wow, what a move. But Sienna Grace losing positions. She's lost about four positions. Wow. Jensen Freddy back into the lead where he has led for so, so long. Harry moved up to second. And look at this. Look what's going on behind. Sienna Grace now having to fight just for a spot on the grid. Drift Gamer all over that car. Sonic for Life coming in as well. Wow. What a restart. Jensen Freddy leads us around into lap 29 that will give us three to go hit all he has to do is hold on but look at harry oh my god harry's getting really close now he is getting really close to that 95 is he going to make a move on the 95 he is he's going to make a move down the back straight he's got the inside lane does he have the minerals i think he does oh they they touch they touch whoever wins this battle now harry goes into the lead on lap 29, the 68, powering ahead of the 95. What a move from the 68 here. Wow. And now Miguel's all over the 95. But look at this. Harry goes into the lead on lap 29, but the 95's coming back. He is not going to give up easily. He wants that space back. All they got to do is finish this race. Otherwise, if we have another caution, that will be it. It will be game over. Look at this. So now is Jensen Freddy going to come back at the 68 down the front straight? Is he going to make a move on that 68? They come down to the last corner. As they go down the front straight now, is Jensen Freddy going to make a move? Is it his turn to have a pop at the 68? Maybe not this lap. Maybe the next lap. He's getting rather close. Oh. So is Miguel as Jensen Freddy calms down. Is he going to make a move? I don't think he's going to make a move. He's just biding his time. Lap 30. Lap 30. As Harry is now leading this race at the moment. SJ, SJ. Look at this. Jensen Freddy comes up on the inside. Oh, no. I thought they were going to clash. I thought they were going to clash. I thought that was it. I thought it was good night. Uh, happy holidays, see you later. But it wasn't, it wasn't. It's all cushy, it's all good, okay? Look at that, the 68's panicking now. The 68 is panicking, he looks in his mirror. All he can see is that 95, all over his back doors. Literally, if Jensen gets any closer, he'll be sat in the back seat of that 68. Wow, this is it, this is it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Jensen, Jensen goes over the inside, look at that, what a move from the 95. The 95 takes Harry on the 30th lap. <laughs> We're into 31 laps. Look at this. Jensen Freddy takes the lead back away from Harry. What a race. I am getting really, really, really excited. Maybe too excited. A little bit too excited, maybe. Maybe I need to calm down. Breathe. Breathe. But... Uh, Oh no, the 68's coming back at Jensen. The 68's coming back at Jensen. Oh my god. 
This is just edge of your seat stuff. I don't know where to look first. Let's go back to this camera. Oh, my days. Oh, my God. So, uh, Sienna Grace is in to fourth place. Just in front of Jif Gamer. Uh, I should have been checking that, uh, really, but this uh, this race at the front. Look at this, look at this. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Did you see Miguel then? Look at this. Side by side. They go back down the straight. These two are really, really racing now. As Jensen checks up, Harry goes back into the lead. We've got the white flag. We are under white flag. Situation. Is Harry just taken this race away from the 95? Harry goes into the lead on the white flag lap. Wow. He came back at the 95 so quick. And I don't think the 95 has got any legs in that car left to catch that 68. The 68 makes a mistake. That would be it for him. But I think it's Harry who's going to win this game. The gap is too big. There's literally a two car length gap between them. As they come to the last couple of turns, Jensen Freddy needs to pull something out of the bag now. But I think it's going to be Harry is going to win here at Watkins Glen as they come to the last penultimate turn into the last turn of the race. Harry has the minerals. It looks like Harry Edwards is about to win here at Watkins Glen. He does. He takes the checkered flag on the last lap of the race. Jensen Freddy second. Miguel third, Sienna Grace in fourth, Drift Gamer fifth. What an end to a race. Wow. That was pretty epic. I've got to say, for a road race on this on NR, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? What? Wow. Wow, that was pretty cool. Edge of your seat stuff. So uh, that was pretty good. Well done, uh, Harry. Well done, Jensen. Well done, Sienna, finishing fourth. Uh, Sienna's had loads of top fives. This is like a third top five, I think. Uh, great race from uh, the top three today. Uh, Harry, you actually want a race, mate. Hey, you want a race. Jensen was so, so close. But at least he finished today. Looks like he's trying to still take out Harry. I think he must be angry with him, maybe. Maybe there's a little uh, resentment there. Look at that. 0 0.254 of a second. It was so, so close. But uh, well done, guys. Absolutely fantastic racing. Um, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Let's go to the official results, guys. So there you go, there's the official results. We had two cautions over four laps, eight lead changes between six drivers. Jensen Freddy got the bonus points. He led for 22 laps. 22 laps, guys. And he went and lost it on that last lap from Harry. Harry only led for two. Sienna led for uh, three. But look at this, right? Look at this, guys. Sienna Grace started in 29th position, finished in fourth. Drift Gamer started in 36th, finished in fifth. Kimberly started in 32nd, finished in 6th. Wow. Sonic, 23rd, 7th. Justin, 24th, 8th. Brilliant driving, guys. I started 35th, finished in 11th. Absolutely fantastic driving uh, from all the guys. Harry started in 19th and finished in 1st. You know, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Unfortunately, uh, we had uh, four guys finish the race. Uh, and it looks like Amy Lloyd uh, will be starting on pole tomorrow. Uh and it was uh, the guy's piston that actually went, unfortunately. Uh, going to the standings then. Uh, Sienna is top uh, with uh, four top tens. 
She's four points ahead of me. I've had uh, three top tens. Uh, Harry Edwards with that win moves up to third. Drift Gamer uh, moves into fourth. And Kimberly moves into fifth place. And Jensen coming second uh, would have moved him up. And that's moving him up to 25th. So he'll be happy with that. He's had two DNFs uh, out of four uh, races, unfortunately. So Sunday night, we are back for round five. And it's Pocono. It's Pocono Raceway. Love this track on this on NR. Very, very good track. It's going to be epic. 2.5 miles. Hopefully no carnage. Not too much carnage. Uh, and hopefully you can all make it. Sunday night. Don't miss it. Are we going to have another race on our hands between Jensen and and, uh, and Harry? Is, are we going to have a rematch? Let's hope so. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for being here. Well done to Harry. Well done to Jensen. Well done to Sienna. Drift Gamer, Juan, Kimberly. All you guys who finished uh, in that top uh, five positions. Fantastic. Uh, racing from you all uh, and let's hope Sunday uh, it will be a good race and it is Super Bowl on Sunday isn't it Super Bowl Sunday so it's uh, Super YouTube Cup Sunday for us be safe be careful be well don't forget to like don't forget to share and hit that subscribe button take care guys